Pro Tools hacks all the best producers use part yet. You've fully tracked your session, you've done all your edits, consolidated all your audio files, and it's ready to be either mixed by yourself or sent off to somebody else to mix. However, before you do, click this little button in the corner to show all of the clips that are in the Pro Tools session. If you select all the audio that's in your edit window, all of what's being used will be highlighted in the clip view. So what you can see from that is there's a lot of unused audio. So you'll want to get rid of that to save some session space. To do that, either click the little arrow, which you select unused, or you can just use that shortcut, command shift U. That selects everything that's unused in the session. Click the arrow again, hit clear, or use the shortcut Command Shift B. That opens this little warning dialog. Just be a little bit careful with some of these options because you can remove files permanently with no way of recovering them. Remove will just take the audio files out of the Pro Tools session, but keep them saved on your hard disk. Move to Trash will take them out of the Pro Tools session, but put them in your little bin and delete is the dangerous one that I would avoid. That deletes the file permanently with no way of recovering them. Hopefully that tip saves some space on your hard drive and some time send the files. Like and follow for more.